The UCL Center for Holocaust Education works with hundreds of schools and thousands of teachers every year, delivering programs that dispel myths about the Holocaust. We work to improve the teaching of this hugely important history, and in so doing, we help hundreds of thousands of young people to understand how and why it happened and engage with the catastrophic human tragedy that occurred. In this way, we enable young people to consider why this history matters today and to recognize the dangers of 21st century extremism and anti-Semitism. But these are just words and numbers. What we do is best understood when you see the impact we have in the classroom. I think working in this type of community where there's a high level of deprivation and poverty, there's also a, a sort of increase in far-right extremism. It's our duty as a, as a community, as a school, to, to combat that and challenge that. So when there's a programme such as UCLs that gives opportunities for our students and our staff to develop themselves, it was a natural fit and, and an opportunity that we, we couldn't turn down. We were really, really excited to embark on the Beacon School journey. The colleagues in the department and, and myself, we got a lot of CPD early on that engaged you to reflect and engaged you to think about your current practice. So it was very interesting to me to see uh, this brand new school, an impressive building in a very difficult context, with staff really going beyond the call of duty in every way to, to support their kids. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill this board with what's good about our school and what you enjoy about course. We were very aware that although we followed the national curriculum, we could do so much more with it. But also it was the broader viewpoint of it's not just looking at the Holocaust and educating students in more detail around that, it's that open agenda again of tolerance and understanding. The UCL Beacon School programme is so important because we want everyone to feel like that they belong and we want everyone to have a detailed knowledge of what belonging is. When we initially started, um, there was there was a, there was a sort of trigger point of an anti-Semitic comment that was of pure ignorance. So I think staff quite apprehensive about even just challenging sort of prejudicial remarks. How do I get it right? What do I say? Is it better to say nothing? And so without staff having really detailed knowledge, they can't challenge those comments and they can't deliver those lessons to the best of their ability. There's no getting around the fact that we're dealing with genocide and, and mass murder. It can be upsetting for the children, it can be upsetting for the teacher. It can raise all kinds of questions that people don't necessarily uh, have to ask or, or, or understand how to answer in their day-to-day -day teaching. The engagement levels from our students are, are incredibly high whenever we use resources from UCL because they are based on primary research material. And when you're dealing with the Holocaust, there's often a lot of shades of grey. What we try and do is explore the choices people made. And today we're going to look at individual people and you're going to think of words that you'd associate with these people. I've got a rescuer and they have anti-Semitic views against, the, uh, against Jews, but they still rescued many, so I found that very interesting and how they have a change of heart. When I actually thought about the Holocaust, I thought there will probably be like maybe a thousand Jews. Then I realised that entire communities were being wiped out and I feel like everyone should have an awareness of what has happened and uh, there should be like more like efforts to put a stop to anti-Semitism. We did a survey where most of our students had never been to a museum before. I had the idea of having a museum permanently within our space. UCL were incredible at being able to put us in contact with different people that could loan us artefacts. Lots of our parents often ask, can they come and see the space as well? So it's not just about our students within the school, but it's also the wider community. We know that we'll only break generational cycles of prejudice and discrimination. We'll only challenge the deep embedded misconceptions about the Holocaust and about a whole range of other issues if we work together as a profession. And UCL sort of research is something that we couldn't access on our own. We're trying to teach our students that often their narrative will, and their ideas will be complex and nuanced, and, and so they should be. Because I believe we live in a world at the moment that, that is incredibly polar. It's about equipping students with an understanding of division, with the ability to think deeply. 
without making snap judgments, which is what good history should do. It should engage students to reflect. Learning about the Holocaust, I think it helps us in our like lives to treat people fairly and not act as if they're different to us because we're all the same. We all need to be treated and treat others how we want to be treated. It's about providing the best route possible for those students. It's a case of educating so that by the time they leave us in year 11, they're able to, to be successful in, in, in modern Britain. The Centre for Holocaust Education's unique offer to schools and teachers has been developed over more than a decade. And we know that it has an incredibly positive impact on how the Holocaust is taught and how the Holocaust is understood in the classroom. But while we're proud of what we've achieved so far, there is so much more to be done.